Hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Kellinger. I'm the VP of Biochemistry and co-founder of Element Biosciences. And today I'm going to be talking through some of the exciting changes that are coming with the CloudBreak chemistry uh, releasing in June of 2023. At the highest level, what the chemistry is, is an upgrade to the reagents that come uh, to run on the AVD platform uh, that have several advances over the V1 chemistry. Uh, we know some of them here. You know, most notably is the reduction in runtime from uh, 48 hours down to 38 for a standard two by 150 run. Uh, we were able to save 10 hours overall on the runtime. And the way that was done was through some innovations on both the uh, biochemistry side and the imaging side. So, you know, centered here, I have the focus on some new enzymes. We've developed variants of the trapping enzyme and the stepping enzyme that allow shorter contact times to enable faster cycle times, as well as some advances to the way we image the flow cell. Uh, to allow shorter imaging cycles, uh, which together add up to that 10 hour reduction in overall runtime for a two by 150. We've made those changes to run faster while all maintaining uh, the high quality that's expected on the AVD platform. In fact, we've actually gotten better in a few places and I'll show you some examples of that on the coming slides. Um, also, you know, as a result of talking with people in the field using the instrument, we were able to make some changes to the workflow to improve uh, interaction with the system. Uh, the first of which is moving the indexing to the front of the run, which allows for uh, real-time uh, demux of uh, the indexing and a report generated in the first hours of the run, which can tell you how your library pooling was um, you know, before the whole run has completed. The second advance to the workflow has been on the circularization front. Traditionally, with the Element platform that's lived in library prep, needing to do manual circularization and then load a circular library. And with the Elevate library workflow uh, containing our adapter sequences, we've enabled loading a linear library directly into the cartridge where circularization will then happen on board. If we look at the run times for uh, the current CloudBreak release, which you can see is that you know, the highest level, the maximum output, a billion reads at the two by 150 configuration, that's what's defining that spec of 38 hours. The implications that have for less data out or for shorter run configurations are also pretty considerable. If you look at uh, two by 75 applications, uh, you know, for say exomes or single cell work or counting applications, those runs are now happening comfortably at 24 hours uh, with some of them even faster than that in the teens. Again, if we look at uh, the circularization peaks that I mentioned earlier, with the Elevate workflow, we've enabled um, using our adapter sequences to generate a linear library using third-party compatible kits. Uh, that linear library can then be quanted and loaded directly into the AVD cartridge, where onboard the instrument that circularization will occur, uh, going directly into amplification and ultimately sequencing, uh, taking time out of hands-on time in library prep um, for this workflow. Next, I've got a few slides on data quality and uh, whole human genome builds. Uh, we can look at the quality plots, um, cycle, or the, the mean base quality is a function of cycle for read one and read two, comparing the new CloudBreak chemistry in that dark blue color to the first version of the chemistry on AVD and then some of the competitor data. Uh, what you can see is, you know, the exceptional data quality that's present on the AVD platform uh, continues and actually even improves in read two. Uh, we've been able to improve the quality as a function of cycle in read two uh, so that we're seeing more consistent performance across the whole length of the read. Next, if we look at uh, sequencing performance in terms of human builds, this is looking at an HG002 library of whole genome sequencing, looking at SNP and Indel performance. Uh, we've taken care to you know, properly control for library variation in this experiment, uh, looking at the V1 of VD chemistry and the CloudBreak chemistry, uh, which you can largely see is you know, similar to maybe slightly improved performance on both SNP and Indel, uh, you know, really leveraging the strong performance of the V1 chemistry and making it slightly better with CloudBreak. Um, Finally, if we look at GC bias performance across the platform, uh, what I've been here is uh, GC content as a function of SNP F1 score, uh, 
uh, which you can see is where the vast majority of the SNPs live. Uh, bias is, is very uniform, really across the whole GC content of the human uh, genome. We're seeing very strong performance where we don't see strong over or under representation in any GC bins. Um, we look forward to sharing more data about other applications as we go forward. Uh, and thank you for joining this session.